hello all welcome to the channel once again today we'll see another interesting concept of how do we integrate j meter with prometheus and grafana as you know prometheus and grafana are being used in current date for monitoring the aks or eks of all cloud related infrastructure so in case we integrate jmeter with prometheus and grafana we'll have a single dashboard representing all the data which is captured during performance engineering run right so let's see what all setups that we have to do to capture this into the grafana dashboard so first thing have the latest version of jmeter and download let me show you so have the latest version download the latest version of jmeter and download the prometheus plugin for jmeter you can get all those things from internet just google it out and download the respective files place the prometheus plugin into the external library files lib txt and then place your prometheus plugin file which you have downloaded into this folder and then start your jmeter when you start your jmeter you can I have already prepared a small script wherein I have a simple request, a GET request to a sample API, and I have already imported Prometheus Listener. You can add multiple cap objects to be captured here, but I have just added one. Similarly, you will have to add the Prometheus met metrics from the config element. So I'll show you that. Go to add, then listeners, add Prometheus listener from here, and then go to add config elements and add Prometheus metrics from here. Right? And as it is done here, you just have to select the respective things accordingly. If you want to add more objects here, you can refer to the git repository which has all these details so try to replicate them it will give you the complete picture right so this is the very basic setup which we need to do in the jmeter right now point number two how do we start the prometheus server so these are all you know portable files so you can just download and keep it in one folder. I have just downloaded it into this folder. So if you go inside Prometheus, you will have a YAML file, Prometheus dust.yaml. I have just opened that file. What you need to do is open the file. Towards the end, just add this portion, right? To the end of the file, add that portion and just say save right very easy simple and then go back to your command prompt right and start with this command yeah start with this command prometheus.exe hyphen hyphen config.file and keep your yaml file and say enter so once prometheus server is up you can open your chrome browser or any other browser and prometheus runs in 90904 so you can go here and say localhost and say 9090 right so you can check what is happening to your target now the target that you have set you go back to this file see the target that you have set is 
local host 9270. So 9270 is added here, but it is not up because your script, JMeter script is not running. So to test it out, what I have done is I have put it as run it for 300 seconds, which is like five minutes, right? So this setup is done. Now the second thing. It is so simple, right? So just go here, go back. You have just downloaded uh, three folders like Apache JMeter folder, Prometheus folder, Grafana folder, and one file which is your Prometheus plugin file. Just four things you downloaded. You uh, place the Prometheus plugin file into Apache JMeter lib ext folder and started your jmeter made one change into the prometheus ml file and then started prometheus now next step is go inside grafana and just simply start it All right go inside the bin folder and simply start the grafana server All right it is as easy as that anybody can do it right. we are done with the config now we need to see Prometheus we have already seen Grafana will run run on localhost 3000 so just start Grafana it's taking some time to load okay I have just uh, you know logged in before some time so it, it has not asked me to log in again but in, in case it asks for uh, username and password, just say admin, admin, all in small letters, A-D-M-I-N, A-D-M-I-N, that's it. And then next thing that you have to do is come here, add data source, right? I have added two already, so it is not asking me, but you can add a data source. Here is say Prometheus and your Prometheus server is running on 9090. So it has a default entry, you can directly use it, right? So let's go back now, test it out. Our configuration is done, let's test it out. So it will run for five minutes. Let me check what kind of data it collects, right? Okay, let's start, start the execution. Okay, my execution is started. Go back to your Prometheus. Check what has happened to your target. Oh, still not up. Yeah, you see here, the error is gone. Uh, now it is it has started receiving data from the local host 9270. Go back and you can query here as well. Right, JMeter RT response time, execute. see values here right now you go back here let's see if we are seeing values here or not so add a new panel okay go here to the query section say same thing jmeter dot rt let's see if our query is returning anything yeah we have value here. so it has reported some value see this graph yeah so you have data into Prometheus and into Grafana dashboard also uh, for dashboard Grafana dashboard you can use uh, you can search in Google uh, for uh, default dashboards and just come here and you can import those dashboards when you say discarding the dashboard which I have added so here uh, just google it out the uh, you know default dashboard for jmeter uh, prometheus and grafana put that number here and say load right. check if I can get something for you right away prometheus 
this stuff on my dashboard. Let's go here. Okay, two four nine two. Two four nine two. Good. I don't want to change anything. Okay. Yeah. You can use make use of these dashboards. I have not given a lot of parameters there or objects to be captured, so it has uh, not fetched anything. But if you make those, uh, when uh, let me go to Gentle and show you what I'm talking about. So here. I have not added a lot of objects, so those graphs are not coming up in Grafana. If you add all these objects, then you will get all the graphs in Grafana. Right? So that's it. Easy configuration. Do it and enjoy. Thank you. Thanks for watching.